Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Team of the Season Magnon card to review. Uh, guys, with this card, a lot of people uh, really enjoyed and then they also didn't enjoy using the Winter Wildcard version. Now, here's the thing, guys. When it comes to goalkeepers, when we do the review for the cards, we do them because review we're reviewing other cards anyway, so we might as well review the goalkeeper while we're at it. Uh, because we overcommit defenders like crazy for the sake of the review. So with Magnon, we're going to be trying him out because I never actually tried out this card this year. So I don't even know what the Winter Wildcard version is like. Or maybe I do. Maybe I've tried him for like a few games and I just don't remember. Yeah, I don't know actually. Uh, but Team of the Season is now out. So we're going to be trying out this bad boy. Uh, Magnon on this card looks like this so on the basic chemistry style he's gonna have 98 for diving 99 for reflexes 95 for handling kicking is at a 98 with a 98 for positioning and then his acceleration and sprint speed to be fair is gonna be in a pretty decent area for a goalkeeper as well right so 95 or 75 acceleration and 71 sprint speed should be good because this card in game has the comes for crosses trait. So obviously in our case, we are going to be giving him the sweeper keeper comes for crosses instructions uh, to be able to utilize that trait as much as possible. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but if you actually double tap triangle or double tap Y, if you're on Xbox, your goalkeeper will actually push into the crossing area um, as much as possible, right? Sometimes they don't really push exactly where you want them to go, but it's just a quick way of getting them into those positions as quickly as possible. So uh, what we're going to be testing is seeing how that trait works with that, inst that, that instruction that I'm doing myself where I'm actually telling him to come, you know, comes for the crosses, right? Or, or go for the crosses. So we're going to be trying that out. Uh, the trades is always important for goalkeepers, but the other thing that's always important for goalkeepers is the three other things, right? So it's going to be in the weak foot department, the high and average body type, and then it's, you know, the trades, right? So um, that was the two and the three. Sorry, so many player reviews getting tired, you know, but um, yeah, with Magnon, guys, we'll try him out. We'll see how he plays in game. Uh, the height and the body type is pretty decent, so it should work out okay. Honestly, with goalkeepers, a lot of the times people like to use like the super tall guys, like the six foot five dudes, because there is more of a consistency when it comes to like the long shots for it, depending on the positioning. But obviously, we'll take a look at this card in game and see whether or not he's worth getting. So, yeah, let's go try him out. A little collector by Magnon. Magnon with the save, nice. My boy uh, screening art was a little bit weird right there though. A little strange. Feel again. Yeah, look at that jumping animation. Like that Magnon again. I yeah, pushed up the goalkeeper a little bit. He didn't put enough power on that chip shot. All right, no uh, regular save there from Magnon. Regular finesse shot. Guys. Yeah, I want to give him that too. I didn't want to touch that. The, the finesse shot and the regular power strike, those aren't ones that I expect him to to save, so I don't mind that. That was a crazy free kick. Decent dive, though. Yeah, I didn't want to push out too much, nor did I want to use manual goalkeeping. Uh, nothing too crazy there either. You should be using manual goalkeeping to the side a little bit there as an obvious shot. Thank you, Magnon. Appreciate that. Didn't even do anything. Nice. Good save. I want to fully commit that uh, goalkeeper there. Oh, what a beautiful save by Magnon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, not too much of a goalkeeper push. 
Bad shot from his attacker. And save Magnon. It's a pretty default save to make. That's a really good uh, push with the goalkeeper to test out what he does when he's actually pushing out against the chip shot. I actually did a little bit of manual goalkeeping there, and he still scored in that direction. Hmm. Okay, no save from the uh, cross there from Magnon. That was me actually pushing out the goal here with the double tap triangle there. Take that save of Magnon. Oh, thank goodness for the Kessier save. This guy's a beast. Magnon's like, here you go, bro. And just have to see. Some sort of save there. Good save again. Not on the rebound, though. I don't mind he doesn't save the rebound. That's perfectly fine. A decent save, Magnon. Most goalkeepers would make that, for sure. Like that real quick with Magnon. Good save, Magnon. to push him out there. There we go. Thanks, Magnon. Appreciate you. Nice. Golkir pushed himself, too. Good punch, Magnon. Good save, Magnon. Good save. Eh, pretty typical strike to score as well. Don't expect Magnon to save that. Good save. That's one. That one's a cross goal, so should be saving that. Thanks, Magnon. I don't know what was happening right there, so. Save Magnon. Well done. Good catch. Doesn't have to push it, punch it away. Good save Magnon again. I like it. I like it. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Magnon card. To be honest with you, I didn't mind him too much. I didn't find him to be, you know, super special in any way. Uh, you know, some cards, you know, you use like a Moments Vandersar, like those types of guys. Like they they do some crazy stuff, right? Uh, team of the Season Courtois. I never did his review, I don't think. But let me tell you guys, that guy is an absolute nuisance to play against. If you can somehow fit that guy on your team, by all means, be sure to do so because he is a beast. Uh, I don't think Magnon is on that level of Courtois, um, but still a pretty decent goalkeeper. He actually made some pretty decent saves. Some of them were just like basic ones that you expect like any goalkeeper to make, but he did okay for the most part. I would say that there was like two or three goals where I was like a little bit off. I was like, you know what? Maybe he could have done better in those situations, but I didn't really necessarily mind it too much. So I don't know if you guys were watching the highlights, but the thing that I was teaching you guys earlier with the double tap triangle, double tap Y situation, you could see that Magnon, when I actually double tap that button, he kind of adapts to wherever I push him when I press that button and goes for the actual crosses and collects the ball, right? You can see that when it comes to like corner kicks, uh, crosses, he does grab the ball way more often than he actually punches the ball away, which is always very, very nice to work with, right? Uh, always very important to have. Now, when it comes to goalkeepers, if we're going to be taking a look at comparisons, let's see what the Serie A has. I don't think the Serie A has anybody, but like Handanovic, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, positions, goalkeepers. Yeah, Handanovic, I never tried out myself, so I could not tell you guys what's up with that card or the Serie card. 
I've never tried those cards out myself. But it is a French Serie A goalkeeper, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with that so far. I'm going to be honest with you guys, like a Larice I've used. I, I don't know, man. Like Larice, some people like. He's very 50-50 for people too, but for me personally, I just... I just think that card is like super inconsistent. He just does like really dumb things a lot of the times. I, know, I remember doing reviews against that foot captain's card or even the team of the season. And I'm like, what is this guy doing? French and then the goalkeepers. Is it just Larice? LaFont too? Uh, LaFont is really nice. I like LaFont. Personally, I like LaFont. <clears throat> With goalkeepers, it's always going to be different. I didn't mind the animation choices that Magnon made. I'm just saying that there's some moments where it's like, you know, a little bit weird. Because LaFont is six foot five, So you guys already know, man. When the players are taller, they're just way more ideal to work with. So, yeah, I mean, for a Serie A French goalkeeper, you can't go wrong. I would probably choose LaFont over him, personally, just because of the height. I wouldn't choose Larice. You know, Larice, I don't know. That guy does not sit well with me this year. I don't know what to do. I don't know what it is, man. Just does not sit well with me. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review today. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.